A bill changing the name of Dixie State University awaits Governor Spencer Cox's signature tonight. Tonight, Fox 13's Haley Higgins takes an in-depth look into why supporters say the benefits of Utah Tech University reach far beyond Southern Utah. A last-minute vote by the Utah Senate Wednesday all but ended a contentious 30-year conversation about replacing the name of Dixie State University. Our name has a little bit of a hiccup for some students that are outside that don't understand the Utah definition of Dixie. It's already been a hindrance. A lot of our companies testified during the most recent committee hearing on it that they can't bring companies in to invest or to even look through the area without having to explain Dixie. And that's a, that's a huge problem. Renaming to Utah Tech University will help the state forge ahead with a tech-centered future, according to the Silicon Slopes Commons Executive Director. She believes rebranding will help the Wasatch Front as well as St. George's quest to grow Tech Ridge, a southern Utah version of Silicon Valley. Having Dixie State's name changed to Utah Tech University can help that growth um, continue and it sustain itself long term. University President Biff Williams says the school added more than 100 programs since 2014, most of them focused on science and technology. A growing pool of potential employees is expected to lure more companies to Utah instead of forcing college graduates to move out of state. With the economy attracting those students to our state, they will stay and so that's that's good for everyone. Governor Cox says he plans to sign off on the name change that could go into effect on July 1st. In Salt Lake City, Haley Higgins, Fox 13 News, Utah. Well, in the end, a compromise was reached to call the campus of Utah Tech the Dixie Campus. Opponents to the name change argue the term Dixie is deep-rooted in Utah's early heritage when Mormon pioneers settled the St. George area and grew cotton.